I had some technical errors with this one, but um, these were the materials I used, the Montmartre paints, and it was pouring over a vase. As you can see, that one particular bar vase I've already poured over did not work out. Um, it's gone all blubbery. So I actually are going to wipe all that paint and get rid of it. What I'm showing you I'm doing on my second glass is um, spraying it with alcohol so as to get off any sticker fingerprints that prepares my glass for the paint. And yes, the paint does stick to the glass just doing that. Why I didn't move that vase before I did all that, I have no idea. But um, I'm doing that little tea light and I didn't bother removing the sticker off the bottom because um, I'm going to put a complete cork bottom on the whole of the bottom of that particular tea light because you will not see it so why i'm being ginger with this particular vase because i'm going to wipe it off i do not like the particular effect and when i actually did that pour as i said my camera stopped running um yeah had all sorts of technical difficulties difficulties with cameras i might have to look into buying a better setup of some description but anyway i'm going to push on their globe uh, their actually Montmartre pre-made pouring paints so I'm going to use up what I have now to pour over that particular glass vase um, it's a little tea light so I'm going to pour the paints and go on from there oh oh that's probably enough oh look at that so in this one, I used the ultramarine blue, the gold, and I used, I did put purple in it, and I put dark purple in it. So that's what, oh, that is beautiful. That's actually gorgeous. So I'll have a little vase, and I'll have the little tea light to go with it. That's gorgeous. That's turned out, the colors are beautiful. So I'm not actually gonna put any more paint on that and then you know what I've done because I'm all flummoxed because my camera stopped and I'm trying to retrieve what I've done I forgot to put a um a cup underneath my glass I normally put the same as I've done with this one I put a plastic cup underneath the glass so as I can lift it and move it around and I haven't what am I gonna do I might have to try and get it off with a spatula because I want to um, then create another piece of art on the canvas. So let's see if I can. If I get a fingerprint on it, well, so be it because um, I can pour a bit more paint. Ollie dooly jilly, what are you doing? I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over that now. Oh, sh sh shivers, shivers, shivers. Okay. I'll just bring it back here and I'll pour a little bit more paint so it covers up all the fingerprints I've just put on it. But it is so gorgeous and I didn't want to spoil it. Look at that. Oh, poo poo pee doo. Let me see if I can cover up the smudges. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I am gonna just pick up the plastic cup at the bottom and move it. That's lovely, so beautiful. Mm. Now I'll pick up the glass, the plastic at the bottom and put it to the side. So I'm just gonna Pour some more paint into my, or should I or shouldn't I? Let's see if I can just spread this paint and use it as a bottom, as um, 
base coat underneath and then I could do something on top maybe. So any of you uh, runoff paint from your vases, you either let it go onto a canvas and make a piece of art out of your canvas, or you can put it over a bowl and let the runoff go into a bowl and then reuse your runoff, um, like I say, for another piece of art. So I'm gonna use some of, these are the pre-made pouring paints. Let's see what we can do here with the leftovers. Let's see, Let's see if I can do a ring pour. I might have to load some more into my cup. So I'm just loading the paint into my jug so I can do a ring pour over this and let's see what I can get. If I can get anything, anything nice out of the mess I've just made. But that little, uh, little tea light is turning out beautiful so I'm happy about that. So that's when you've got to rely on equipment all the time. And I'll, this is some mint green I'm going to put in there. I haven't used these pre-made pouring paints for a little while now. Of course, I'll put in some of the gorgeous gold. I love, I do love the gold in the Montmartre paint. So maybe I put a little. Oh, I've got some white in here. This is really going freestyle on this now. So let's see if I can just run off a bit of those paints. That's beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't have put the white. Radio, right let's try this. I'm going to do like a ring. I love that ultramarine blue look, it's making it really pop. Needed some gold, some more gold in there. Oh, geez, Louise, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm all flummoxed because I've stuffed up. Never mind. It can be frustrating, but what can you do? It's just paint. So let's put some big goldy circles in there. All right. I think I'm going to give up in a minute. It's going, oh, geez, Louise. Let's see if I can redeem. So it's either going to be a, a master or a disaster. Let's take it over here. Let's try and stretch this out on my canvas. I love this dark ultramarine bit. That's beautiful. So I'm going to try not to lose it. So these are pre-made pouring paints. You haven't got to do any any mixing or any anything with them. You've just got to paint with them. And you can get some gorgeous effects, as you see, by not much effort. So. because I'm um, into a pep talk because I know I've stuffed up. 
that's actually quite nice as it is but I, of course it actually has got some nice of the purple through that gold and I mean I might be able to jazz that up a bit I'm not sure I'm not sure whether I should actually try a um, a little bit of an Aussie slide through that let's give it a go let's see if I can put some of this is the black cell activator which is the Amsterdam paint just with Australian flow troll I know you're probably screaming at me what are you doing because it is quite nice as it is and it will go lovely with the vases I'm gonna I just want to try it I'm gonna put a bit of the on there and I'm going to do a slide through it. Wow, oh that's beautiful. I'm just going to do one to break the gold up and I want to bring you down and have a look at those gorgeous cells that have popped up and um, that's all I'm going to do to that. Oh, here we are. And my dogs have to start. That is beautiful. That is quite beautiful. And I hope some more of those gold sort of bubble cells come through. But look at that. That's really lovely. So I only put in that one Aussie slide. But look at the gorgeous serpent looking cells that have come up in that gold. Which I think is just enough. And look at that. So this was my vase that's, I think because it's got dimples on it, it's lost all the lovely effects look that the paint should have on it. So the dimples really didn't do that one any justice. Maybe just a solid colour would have done on that. But the other one is absolutely gorgeous look. So that's what I wanted my vase to turn out on. But the tea light is beautiful and it goes lovely with the painting so really really happy with that one so i'm just going to leave that sitting on the cups because he asked me how do you get them off the cups you just squeeze the bottom of the cups because they're plastic when it's dry and it just comes off so that was a bit of a disaster for me with the camera equipment and everything, but I'm really happy with the results now. That's quite gorgeous. So thank you so much, my lovelies, for joining me. Until tomorrow, um, please take care. And if you're feeling sad, lonely, upset, please call a friend or a family member or definitely a helpline. There is always somebody there to help you out. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> craziness. Bye for now. I'm going to show you what I ended up doing through the whole... I ended up doing the black swipe with the black flow troll. Uh, the Amsterdam black and flow troll. I did a swipe through the whole painting and got these beautiful little champagne cells and then I did my uh, balloon magic in it. I just I much prefer it for myself personally like this and this is what sells most of my art so I um I changed it to this gorgeous little ditty and I love it it's it's drying now but it's not fully dry so I'll give it a, when it's fully dry I'll give it a coat of uh, varnish or resin whichever you choose to do probably varnish over this one and um, my vase is drying nicely I got a finger mark on it so I did a balloon kiss where my finger mark was trying to move it but um, it's still beautiful. I'm really, really happy with this one. But the other vase that was on there, I ended up taking off and washing it because I just didn't like the colours, how they'd gone muddy going over those dimples. So that one is absolutely beautiful and I love that. 
So that's what I ended up doing. Um, and that was simply, the, this one was simply the same as I normally do, black. I just did the black line from the top, swiped down, um, and then it, and then did the balloon kissing, and just got these gorgeous effects. So there you go. That's it. I did it.